welcome back to my channel. Today I have a short video for you with two one to chair exercises that should be your best friend, your BFF if you're a teacher, and you're squatting down and bending over all day, maybe not all day helping people and changing springs and all that kind of stuff, because you should make your clients do it too, but invariably you drop things <laughs> and you have to bend over to pick them up or you have to squat down to do something. And so these two exercises on the Wunda chair are really helpful to use all of your powerhouse to keep your body and your back feeling really good through your work day. And you can do anything as long as you do it properly with your powerhouse and you move wisely. So if you've been following me for a while, I have also deemed some other exercises on the Wunda chair the teacher's BFF. Notably, the push down and the pull up. And I will include information about that on the Wanda chair in the info box below. But today I'm going to talk about actually <laughs> the push down for a different reason and also the arm frog. So the push down is going to be our way to use our powerhouse while bending over, and the arm frog is going to be how to use your powerhouse when you have to squat down. Okay. Here we go. I have one spring on the bottom because that is the setting that I use for both of these exercises. The standard spring setting is one spring in the middle. And for the push down, I'm the length of my foot away from the chair. I'm a little bit with my feet apart and in parallel. And then I'm gonna reach up and lift my bottom, my waistline, everything of my powerhouse lifting up to my fingertips. And I'm gonna keep that idea as I stretch forward. I'm just going to press down until I feel like I'm in the elephant and then I'm going to accentuate my reach into the lower body each time I move the spring. I'm going to lift, lift, lift in the center to close the spring silently and then I'm going to do it again. And I just want to be really in charge of the pedal so it never pushes me. And I'm going to gather my seat, my waistline. And you can also do one side at a time. Sometimes I like to do the left side because my left side is not very strong. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I should say that it takes a lot to coordinate it. <laughs> so as not to give it a complex. And I'm going to do that left side one more time. So that is exercise number one and 1 1.5, the push down and also the push down with one arm. I'm going to keep the same lineup and maybe inch a tiny bit closer for the arm frog. So now I'm going to reach my arms forward, I'm going to gather my seat and my waistline and lift myself onto the balls of my feet without moving forward, and then I'm going to keep the lift from underneath in my seat and my bottom and my stomach. And each time I press the pedal, I'm going to reinforce that lift of the powerhouse. And then I'm going to lift my powerhouse to come up. I'm going to do it one more time. So make sure that when you lift from your bottom, it's lifting you up, but you're not really leaning forward to do it. Yeah, so the waistline is still lifting and lifting and lifting and lifting and lifting. And that's a really, um, a really indicative exercise in that if you're not using this, your quads and your hips will be on fire. So be judicious, try not to spend a ton of time down there and keep feeling like all of this is lifting up, even though you're a little bit parked down there, but 
on the inside, you want to be ready to come up at any moment. So those are my two one to chair BFF exercises. I've been enjoying them so much to keep me strong during my, strong, my standing day of teaching. So give them a try and maybe you have other exercises that help you during your day to feel strong as you stand for a long day. And if that's so, please let's share those with us in the comments below. We would love to know. And um, yes, share them with me and I might even try them in a video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.